When we look at the Lewis structure for HClO2, you may have come up with something like this here. All 20 valence electrons have been used. Each of the atoms has a full outer shell. It looks like a pretty good Lewis structure. The problem is if we calculate our formal charges, we'll see that it's probably not the most favorable or likely Lewis structure for HClO2. In fact, if we calculate the formal charges, we'll see that this oxygen here is a negative one, as does this, and the formal charge on the Cl is a plus two. We want our formal charges to be closer to zero. That tells us that that's a more likely or favorable molecule. Let's step back and see what we can do. When we see a molecule like HClO2, we have the hydrogen and the oxygens. Often that hydrogen is gonna be attached to one of the oxygen. So let's do that. We'll move it over here. And everything is the same in terms of the number of valence electrons. But if we recalculate our formal charges, we'll see they're a little bit different. The oxygen here now has a formal charge of zero. This oxygen has a negative one. And the chlorine here, it has a charge of plus one. So while it's not perfect, it's not zero, it's a lot better. So this is actually a better Lewis structure. But we can do a little bit more here to get all of the formal charges to zero. I see that I have a negative one on the oxygen here and a plus one on the chlorine. It seems if I move two of these electrons down to the chlorine, that might somehow fix the formal charges. So I'm gonna do that and then recalculate. Now that I've moved these two valence electrons down and I've shared them with chlorine in a double bond, and I recalculate my formal charges, we'll see that this oxygen is zero, the chlorine is now zero, and this oxygen right here is zero as well, and the hydrogen has always been zero. That's pretty good. We've got a structure here that uses all the valence electrons and all of the formal charges are zero. There is one complication you might bring up, and that's that chlorine has two, four, six, eight, 10 valence electrons. That's actually okay because chlorine and elements in the third row, third period and below can have expanded octets. In this case, chlorine has 10 and that's okay. So that brings us to the point that we have formal charges of zero and oxygens, they have to have eight and obey the octet rule, but chlorine, it can have more, and it does. And we have the Lewis structure for HClO2 here. What that tells us is that this structure, if we looked at HClO2 in the lab, would be pretty close to what we found experimentally. So a bit of a challenging Lewis structure, but keep in mind formal charges, and I have a video on that that can help you out, are really your friend here, that chlorine can have an expanded octet and that often when we have oxygens and hydrogens together like this, the hydrogen will be connected to one of the oxygens. This is Dr. B with the Lewis structure for HClO2, and thanks for watching.